yeah, I don't know if I'm back to my channel. I feel like every time I come on here, I be looking like this. But anyways, today's video is going to be a weekend vlog. I feel like I haven't done a vlog for y'all in like mad long for one. Oh, I have to clean my edges. Let me do that first. Hold on, hold on. Like I was saying, I feel like I haven't done, y'all can see me? I feel like I haven't done a vlog for y'all in mad long. I know y'all probably wondering, uh, first of all, where is the Trinidad vlog, girl? Y'all, <laughs> one, I didn't bring my camera with me this time because I, need to, I realized every time I go on vacation, I end up recording on my phone. So I'm like, what's the point of me bringing my camera from me using my phone, right? Okay. So I'm not around me using my phone. Bro, as I'm recording, every second, iPhone storage full, iPhone storage full. Mind you, I paid for more storage and all of that so i understand how my storage is always full but okay so i'm like and my, it's not even that my storage is always full my phone never even does that like my, i always have storage always so i'm like bro are you kidding me right now so that kind of like just threw me out of my mood but i was still recording on my phone right but the thing about it since my storage was full i wasn't getting no long long clips you know i'll just record this record that and then that's it and me y'all i had a fun time don't get me wrong but and i wish i could have like broadcast that more to y'all but the thing is i'm not one of those people that just like yeah i need to get a video out let me just help you just get this out let me just get any video out that's not me and that would ever be me like I, especially when it comes to my vlogs, if y'all see, if you haven't watched any of my vacation vlogs, go watch it by the way. If y'all see my vlogs, bro, y'all see, like, my vlogs, my vlogs be quality, okay? I, I show y'all everything, all well, I don't play when it comes to my vlogs. So, for the Trinidad one, I honestly wasn't satisfied with it. I felt like it was just, like, the experience wasn't crappy, you know, but... Like, the vlog just wasn't giving what I wanted it to give, like how my other vlogs are. And I'm not just going to give you a crappy vlog, you understand? So, I'm glad though. My friend was saying I can make like little reels or TikTok, which yeah, I could do that. That would be fine for that. But I'm still glad I was able to experience it and go. It was really, really fun. I enjoyed it. That's definitely not my last time going to Carnival. Nope. It's just about to be a yearly thing for real. Like, I really enjoyed myself. Like the culture, you know, like I said, like my dad, he's from Trinidad. Like I have family out there and all that. And that's not my first time going to Trinidad either. Like I've been going there since literally months old. So, you know, so I just love being back there, the energy, just everything about I just love it. I love the islands, okay? Sometimes I'd be like I feel like I was meant to be like an island baby. I don't think I was supposed to be born out here. <laughs> For real though. Today's Friday. I'm going out with my friends from college. You know, we just do this thing where we just go out. So we're going out to some lounge in Queens. It's called Low Key Lounge. A lot of people know about that lounge. But yeah, so we're just going there. I'm trying to get ready. <laughs> I'm rushing, but I'm not rushing. Y'all know I'm always rushing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not brand new to this, all right? Like, I already know I'm rushing. So, well, I'm not rushing really because it's a lounge. And like, hold on, I feel like I can't see me. Um, the lighting might be terrible, whatever. It's a lounge and like, you know, lounge is like, there's no specific time you gotta be there. So yeah, it's called Low Key Garden Lounge. And you know, I was like, oh, yeah, tomorrow Saturday. Am I doing anything specific Saturday? No, I might go to the gym, y'all. When I tell you, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm actually trying to actually be consistent this time with the gym. No lie. By the way, I'm only doing my brows and lashes, so not crazy. I don't feel like doing a full face today. But yeah, I am really trying to be consistent in the gym because I'm not playing like I want my summer body. And it's, I mainly am going to the gym to get gains. Um, I'm actually gonna get a trainer 
because y'all like I don't know anything about the gym I don't know anything about protein meal don't ask me anything gym related because I don't I just don't know and as I tried going to the gym last year yeah, me and my boyfriend and I, we were actually going to the gym. We were actually being consistent with it, you know? I think we were going like three times a week and stuff. But then, um, I think I had like pulled something like in my stomach or something. I don't know, something. I did something wrong. And like my stomach was just like cramping really, really bad. And yeah, after that, I said, yeah, no. I'm done. But I told myself that I want to go again this year because, you know, I really, like, uh, yeah, I'm just tired of, like, saying I want something, I want something, I want something, and I'm not doing anything to get that. You understand? Like, I, I hate those kind of, I hate those kind of people who sit there and, like, complain about this situation and say, oh, I want this, I want that, but you're not doing anything to get it. Like, I, I don't understand, especially with, I'm not trying to sound, like, an old head or whatever, like how parents be sounding, but it's honestly true. Like with our generation, a lot of people feel like things are supposed to be handed to us. Like this generation is very entitled. Like I remember in high school, my teacher told me, she said like, this generation is a microwave generation, meaning that we expect things to come like this. Yeah, just pop in the microwave and come like like no, like that's not how life works. And like a lot of us feel like we don't really have to like work hard for something like we'll work for something for like <laughs> a couple of days a couple of hours but like, yeah no that's not it like no like and i'm not i'm not saying so don't don't come for me i'm not saying this is everybody because i know some people who have a strong work ethic and will actually work for things they want like my best friend shout out to kiana like she works like my girl works for what she wants but i'm just saying like majority People of this generation, you can't say I'm not lying. I feel like have that microwave mentality where they feel like if something doesn't come right there and there when they want it, like that's it, like it's nothing. And and I can, oh god, this is why I hate talking and doing my brows, bro. Mad. Mad. Hold on, no, these don't even look the same, and we're gonna do them again. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> huh, I hate when makeup does this, bro. I really hate it. I really hate it. It's all right. But anyway, look what I was saying. I can sit here and say that I did have that mentality at one point in time. Like, I don't personally, like, and me, if you know me, I don't have patience. I really don't have patience. So it's like me when I feel like I'm actually like, because me, I'm the type of person, I will work hard for, like, I don't work. I'm working on work. But I felt like I, I should have had to work. For so long, you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, for example, with my YouTube. When I first started YouTube and stuff, you know, the reason why I wasn't as consistent as before is because I wasn't seeing any progress. I'm like, I'm putting out these videos, I'm putting out these videos, and I'm not seeing nothing. So why am I doing this? You understand? That was the kind of mentality that I had. And I realized, like, bro, <laughs> who the hell are you? Who are you? Like, so, like nothing's going to ever get handed to you unless you're like you're a celebrity kid or something i guess i don't know but nothing is ever going to get handed to you and i realized like my problem my main problem it's not about the hard work because i'll put in the work don't get me wrong like if i know if i know i have to put in this amount of work to receive these results i'm gonna do it but my problem was consistency because i believe like i said like i need to get when i want something i need it right then and now like when i want it so that's what my main thing that I've been working on, like one of my goals really for this year is to be consistent with the things that I want. And that's as you can see on my YouTube, like I feel like I really, yo, I've been doing my YouTube shorts. I've been doing my TikTok. 
Like I could, I could be doing more. Honestly, feel like I could be doing more. You know, but you know, sometimes you have to take those little breaks, check in with yourself, make sure you're good. You don't want to just overwork yourself. Also, you don't want to do that because the older generation believe like you must overwork yourself and overwork. No, I don't believe in that at all. I feel like mental health breaks are really, really, really important. And if you're not doing that little self care breaks, mental breaks. No, like yes, I disagree with that on that. But um, I definitely have been seeing progress now with my YouTube, especially. So that's why I say when it comes to working now, like I'm being, I'm, I'm really trying to really be consistent this time around. So that's why I said I want to get a trainer because um, I feel like having a trainer there and having someone who knows what they're doing and can tell you what to do, and also have someone like push me. I feel like we'll really be good. So, yeah, I'm I'm over. I've been I've been working out at Planet Fitness, um, and I had the black card. So the pro about having the black card is you get free fitness training. So I'm like, oh yeah. Once I seen that, I see yeah, I definitely have to get back on my game for real, for real. My eyebrows look freaking crazy right now. I think it's because I'm talking and doing it at the same time, but whatever. I need a different brush. Maybe that's what it was. You know, I just jumped from like five different topics. Sometimes I be feeling like I have like ADHD or something. Because y'all, I literally... You know what it is? It's like my brain is moving faster than my mouth. So I'm trying to get everything out that's in my brain before I forget. So it's like, I don't know if you guys see people like in my videos, I be stumbling. On my words sometimes where I be talking fast, it's because I be trying to get everything out that's in my head. So yeah, I I just jumped from like five different things. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. I feel like I don't even really talk to y'all like this, like talk talk. Because I just be like, Yeah, get ready with me. I just sit there, get ready and be like, yeah, so I'm out the door. But um, what else? What else? Did I tell you? I told you what I was going, what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't even know. Well, I have like two outfits in mine. But it's like, I don't know. Because like, the thing about going to, the thing about me, I should say is, especially like when going out, depending on like lounge. Okay, a lounge, you don't really have to get dressy dressy but people don't understand that's different with me is i don't do, do i look 22 to y'all do i look 22 to y'all <laughs> i was about to say 21 y'all yeah i'm mean, i don't at this point i don't even care what age i turn on not not in that kind of way but like yeah i just be like i don't know ever since i turned 16 <laughs> no i don't want to say 16 ever since i turned 18 it's just like any other number after 18, I just be like, oh yeah, I forgot I'm this age. I don't know, I just felt like I turned 18 and that was it. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, like, I don't look like I'm 22. So that's why sometimes it'd be hard for me to get an outfit because I be want to be looking casual. But at the same time, when I'm too casual, I look like a 12 year old. So I'm like, no, I don't like that. You understand? So that's why sometimes I get frustrated when it's time to pick an outfit on my bruh. That's why I be sticking to my two piece sometimes. I be wanting to put real fits together, but then I'm like, dang, but I could do this. But I could wear that. I could do this. You understand? So it's like, ugh, it's annoying. It is very annoying trying to find an outfit. So I'm deciding between these two. One is like casual, and the other is like. Dressy cut. All right. I said I wasn't doing a full face, but I'm not. I'm doing a rush makeup look. So all I did was I did like I used this L'Oreal True Match. This is a very light foundation. I didn't want a full coverage kind of make. I don't want a full beat kind of look. You understand? But I just want a little something, something. So I put that over my face, and I realized like, damn. My face looks like one color. So I did the under eye. But that's about it. Like, I'm not, y'all. This is about to be the fastest 
makeup I ever did and watch it come on fire. Watch. All right, y'all, so I got my outfit on. Unfortunately, I don't really like it like that, but it's whatever. You know, today is one of them days. You ever have like a day where your outfit, nothing is like really, well, I mean, mainly say my outfit is not hitting. So it's just the, uh, yeah, whatever day. Move! So, I just have on this black. I don't know if you guys can see, let me see. Black leather jacket. This like pink um corset top. Black pants and with boots. It's just not it's not giving. I don't know, like y'all. Today's just one of the days. So today's a day where I just don't care how I look. I'm just hungry and I want some food right now. So I truly, it is what it is. I'm going out Sunday, so hopefully Sunday will be a better look day for me. But right now, it's just not hitting whatsoever. It's not hitting, y'all. I don't know why. But I'm not going to let it put it, put me in the bad mood. The makeup, though, is not bad. What is this? I'm like, oh. Yeah, the makeup. The weather is bad, but this is the place. Me for Fumi Michelle, who always take forever. If you know, you know. But yeah, it's not pouring, but it's definitely raining. I hate when my flashes. <laughs> that just blew on. Okay, let's see what's up. Hey y'all. Um, my lighting is terrible. No, I just finished blow drying my hair. But today is Sunday. Um, I didn't record Saturday because I literally did nothing at all Saturday. So I was like, no point in recording. But um, last you see me was Friday when I went out with my friends. Y'all, remember I said I was going to low key lounge, da da da. Yeah. So we get there, right? And my sister, she is her own. 21 yet so but we used our friend's id like our friend's fake id for her to get in you know so we're there at the door and she's scanning everybody's id and she tells her oh we need a different form of id from you so i'm like here we go so while we figured that out on top of that no no <laughs> sorry y'all he likes to terrorize us with water bottles. Anyways, so while we figuring that out, then we asked the, the ladies like, oh yeah, and it's $20 like for entry. So we're like, does that go towards the bill? You know, some places do that. Like they'll tell you, you know, is this much for entry and I go towards the bill. That's like, no problem, cool. But she said $20 for entry and cash only. I'm like, wait, so where was all these rules when we called y'all and all this? Like, you understand? We're like, what? But at that point, we couldn't even go and win because of my sister with the ID. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just get some. At that point, I was just hungry. I was just aggravated and hungry. So I'm like, yeah, no. Can we just get something to eat and call it, <laughs> and call it a night? So basically, that's what we did. We went to Mojo. I showed y'all. Hold on. It's called Mojo. It's like a... I don't know if it's like Cuban food. Or... I don't know. I know it's Hispanic food. It was okay. Um... I'm trying to shave my mustache. I hate when I see little hairs there. Like, ugh. I hate it. Who do I want to go on? All right, so yeah, it was the food was okay. I give it like a seven out of ten. I don't know. I, don't, I guess because the kitchen the hair glue is it not in your room. I guess because the kitchen was closing like in 20 15 minutes when we came, so I guess it was rushing. But the food was okay. Honestly, at that point, I didn't really care about anything else because I was just really hungry. 
So I'm like, yeah, no. I need to buy more teddy skin. Because I be getting bumps. Well, not bumps, but like, I get like little pimples anytime I shave there. So I'm using this. And it actually looks good. I, but y'all, I need to buy more of my PFB, right? Is it called PFB? Yeah. That's the best. Like, tan skin is good, don't get me wrong. But maybe because I wasn't really as consistent. Like, but anyways, I'm about to do my hair. I'm just going to do a sit back. Quick. A quick sit in the back. Because I'm also going out later. Yeah, I'm walking around holding a type of wig. Okay. Yeah, let me help me do my hair. Yeah, because I'm going out later also with my bestie. With my friends from high school. So, because you know, spring breaks, so everybody's back. So, you know. Okay. It's a weird angle, but whatever. Yeah, everybody's back. It's same break. So, I'm going to with my friends. We're going to go to, like, some, like, lounge. We could also, like, play games. Anyways. Yep. Can you see me? I feel like I can't see I'm a... I always say this. I'm kind of in a rush. Should I really be in a rush <laughs> every time? Like, why am I always in a rush? Hmm. Or should I do like half? Like, you know, leave some down and put some up. That'd be cute. But the thing is, my hair isn't really. It's not straightened. It's just blow dried. I need to clip my ends. Or should the top not be bun? I really need to commands. Y'all, I realized one thing with my hair in its relaxed state is that it doesn't like too much like manipulative, like protective styling basically. And I did the quick weave. <laughs> yeah, I'll never do that again in my life. That thing took my hair out. I did a quick weave. And I also a little took this on I did. I did um I did a hairstyle that I had for I did the um hairstyle where you know when you do the braids in the front and then the curly weave in the back. I did that for Trinidad. Mm, I'm not gonna say it took my hair out, but you know, whatever. Like say hi. Hi, Jeez. Hi. Ow, 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 ow. Let me cut your nails. He's still a baby, you guys. Hi, look. He's so cute. But, bye. You too hyper. You be too hyper. Anyways, yeah. I've been seeing my hair regimen. Like, you know, actually been helping my hair. All that, y'all, like, it. It worked. So my people say that this is yeah, like my hair sticking to a hair regimen really is key. So it's not, I know it's not that. I know it's just the, until I started doing all these different protective styling and maybe because I'm doing it like back to back, I guess, my hair doesn't like that. So I'm definitely going to give my hair a break from that because I realized with my hair in this relaxed state. It doesn't like that. But, you know, I'm not mad at it because, I, like, y'all yeah, know, like, this is my first time having relaxed hair. So, I, I don't know much about it. So, I I already knew me going into this journey or whatever, there was going to be trial and error. You understand? I already expected that. So, but, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely learning. I'm definitely learning. So, I know for a fact that protect the styling. If I do protect the styling, it just can't be a constant thing. I mean, it's not like it's in constant. Cause the quick weave I did in January, I did it in January, and then the um the hairstyle for Trinidad, I did that in February. And this hairstyle, this hairstyle, I think I did like two weeks after I took out the hairstyle from Trinidad. So yeah, but other than that. I just realized my hair really doesn't like that at all. 
So I'm gonna give myself a little breaky break. But it definitely has been growing from the last time she cut it because when she cut it, my hair was at my shoulders, y'all. It was way shorter. It was way shorter, so. At least I know it's growing, but yeah. I might clip my ends myself or have my aunt do it. But I'm not gonna like really clip it, clip it because next month marks is the third month that I would have been stretching my relaxer. And right now, I'm saying all this as if I don't have a video already saying all this, which you have to go check out, which is my wash routine video. But yeah, I'm doing a stretch, like a 12 week stretch. So next month will be the 12 week stretch. So I just want to see, you know, if I could go longer, then I go longer. But I feel like for my first time, I don't want to go too long because I don't know how much my hair can, like, manage or grow for so long at that point. You understand? So that's why I don't want to overdo it yet. I think I'm going to wrap my hair in the bun. Yeah. So I'm going to get my roots relaxed again next month. I also want to try, I'm not going, not right now, not right now, I ain't that confident yet. I definitely do want to um, do my own relaxer at home where like, you know, I just do my roots myself. Because yeah, it's literally just doing, like you're putting a relaxer on your roots. If it was my whole head, that's different. But my roots, like that's nothing, that's like me, it's basically like me dyeing my hair again. You understand? So... It's not rocket science. Like, I used to dye my own hair, like, just the roots and stuff. So, I feel like I can do that with a relaxer. But I'm going to go to the lady again, the same one who I went to, just this time, you know, since it's my first time. And then after that, I feel like I'm going to see how she do it. I mean, I think, I know how to do it. I watch mad videos, but I just want to be 100% sure, you feel me? But after I see that, then I'm going to start doing it myself. Because, yeah. But I gotta hurry up. So bad because it's not sleek sleek. But it's, listen. It's decent. It's decent. But I'll let me get dressed and I'll come right back to y'all. Just reach y'all. We have my aunt's restaurant. By the way, if you're in Brooklyn, pop out. It's called. <laughs> it's supposed to say it's blue, but you know, they don't spell it like blue. But yeah. It's so cute. So like orange and bright right now but whatever right now i'm rushing because i just came back from the um my my grandma's birthday dinner brunch my grandma's birthday brunch so i took out my hair yeah i'm about to get in the shower because i'm literally rushing right now like i'm rushing right now because i literally had to like leave in like the middle of the brunch in order to come here and get ready and stuff so i'm about to go out with um like i told you before my friends from high school um, yeah, I'm about to go with my friends from high school. I'm about to just jump in the shower real quick, do my hair over. I didn't really like the bun. I want to do like a soup thing and get ready. I don't even know if I'm time to show y'all me getting ready. I might just show y'all me there and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all me getting ready or show y'all me getting ready. But I literally have like 40 minutes to hurry up and go. Like the place is all the way downtown. If you know, downtown is deep. So. I'm gonna get back to y'all once I'm done and stuff and see y'all then. I contemplate about how I feel. But you make it way too hard to think that this could be what you love. It took a lot of hardship, just 
and learn how not to break down and stop, baby No matter what I've seen in the past, I want better impact, I'll be grown out, baby But I can't let it slip away, I drift away, can go to waste, go to waste, uh -huh. I say it's strange, make day your face, won't contemplate all right, y'all, so I'm back from yesterday. This is the next day, though. Today's Monday. I just came back from the gym, so I look sweaty. And... Listen, it was a good workout. But anyways, that's basically the end of my weekend. Last night was so much fun. If you want to know the name of the place, because I don't think I showed y'all the name or told y'all the name, it's called Cafe Plus Lounge. So it's located like downtown Brooklyn. It's really nice. You know, you see that we got to play Uno. The drinks. <laughs> the drinks are strong so if you don't like strong drinks i don't know but it's strong the food is good the food is actually good like i'm not really a fan of like i'm not saying i'm not a fan because i don't mind it i'll eat it but i don't really care for like chicken and waffles like that kind of combo but this was good and i had the fruity pebbles one and y'all i'm about to make me that myself like i was like no let me try because i had the fruity pebbles or oreo that fruity pebbles was Bussing. like yeah yeah so i really really like the place the only thing is it's small so i guess the day that we because i guess sunday oh yeah sunday hold on let me close over here. he wants to get down but i'm not letting him get down because he likes to run rampant and do foolishness so he's staying right here but anyway so sunday's in I don't know if it, I think it's Thursday also. I'm not sure. I know for sure those Sundays, they only serve brunch food. That was the only thing that caught me off guard because I'm thinking, you know, brunch is like early in the day to like late in the afternoon. But no, they serve brunch for the whole day. So I thought we could get something in the dinner, dinner menu, but we couldn't. But you know, like I said, the brunch food is actually good. Like their food is good. So I didn't mind it. But if you do go on a Sunday, just know that it's only brunch. No dinner food. And they do have happy hours on Thursdays and Sundays. Yeah, Thursdays and Sundays, they have happy hour from 5 to 7. So, during that happy hour, hookah is free. Like, the hookah is free and the drinks, of course, is discounted. So, that place is definitely a vibe. I do want to go there in the summer. I just want to go there on a day that is not so busy because since it's small, I don't like feeling like I'm in a cramped space with so much people. You understand? Like, I'm not saying it's cramped, but it's small. So... I do want to go there again just on a day where it's not so much people. And I do want to try their dinner food since I already tried their um, brunch. But what else I was going to say? I think that's about it about that place. Um, but guys, I know this vlog probably was like all over the place. I didn't get to record as much content of me going out. One, I hate going out, y'all. Maybe playing music because it's like, damn. I wanted to talk and vibe with you guys, but I can't because I'm going to get copyrighted. So I got to put music over those parts, and it's like, I hate that. Like, it's so boring to me. But um, that's just my weekend. That's not me every weekend, but that's me mostly. <laughs> um, that's it, though, for this vlog. Say bye, Jace. He's so bad, you guys. Jace, look. Say bye. He wants to get down so bad. You're not getting down. But, um... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed this vlog, comment down a thumbs up and click that like button. That like button? Button? And click that like button. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications for every time I post. See you guys in the next one. Bye.